What to do before your drone flight review? Before attending the flight review, you need to be 16 years or older, pass the online advanced written exam, then submit your basic drone license and schedule a flight review session. Two days before your scheduled session, you'll receive a made-up flight in advanced operations, specifically in controlled airspace. This is for you to complete the flight planning on paper. In addition, you also need to complete flight planning for the actual location for your flight review. This can be Altex Drone Hub, or if you're part of a private training group, then it's at your own location. In Transport Canada's recent flight review guide, a made-up flight in advanced operations is necessary because flight reviews are often at fixed locations in uncontrolled airspace. So a made-up flight is created to test your knowledge for flight planning in advanced operations. Make sure to bring flight planning documents for both the made-up flight and the location for your flight review. You can use digital documents, apps, or hard copy printouts you also need to bring a government-issued photo ID. If you're using your own drone, it's recommended to use an advanced drone from Transport Canada's list. While that kind of makes sense since you're applying for an advanced license, but if you choose to bring one that's not, make sure it weighs at least 250 grams, it's registered with Transport Canada, and your flight review must be in uncontrolled airspace. In addition, your drone's technical specs need to meet weather and other conditions. For example, not all drones are waterproof or rated for sub-zero temperatures. If you're using a training drone from Altex, make sure you're familiar with the drone before the flight review. And at least the day before flight review, be sure to check final weather and no time activities. Lastly, we provided a practice module that includes resources and feedback to help you prepare for the flight review.